What's up all my investors? It's Shaddai back again with another stock market update video. And the reality of today is we are being scared into a recession, y'all. We really are. I truly believe it. Now we have a oil war going on. Um, this coronavirus is going on. And my biggest advice to you guys, I'm going to be very straight, short, and clear today is you got to be diversified. And, you know, many of you have been investing. And if you have a bunch of cash sitting in your savings account, I would honestly uh, just tell y'all to uh, diversify that, that money a little bit in stocks. If you can get in some, some real estate, if you can... Get your hands on some metals. Uh, I would have a little bit of everything right now because I think that a lot of people don't know where this is going to swing, which way. Um, personally, for me, I think this is a good time to buy, but you know, you have to make your own decisions. I don't, I'm, I'm not no professional, so I don't want you guys to think that. Uh, you have to listen to everything I say, but I'm just putting facts out there and sharing what stocks I'm interested in. But some things that I think that are not uh, going to be super negatively affected, tech is, tech is always going to be good for the future. See, here's my thing. History repeats itself. Always, no? Uh, they said we were due for a recession. Ah, guess what? They're scaring us right into a recession now. Um, the markets always recover. They've always recovered in the past. So what do you think is going to happen to the markets? They're going to recover. That's just the reality of it. And if I'm wrong, hey, God bless me if I'm wrong. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see uh, a year from now where we're at with this. Uh, you know, look into these tech stocks. Do your research, man. Your phone's right in your hand. You could just hit Google. Uh, some tech stocks, some healthcare stocks. I mean, I've been talking about a bunch of them in all my recent videos. Today, I'm just this week. Uh, is is gonna be a big buying week for me personally. And if you're out there buying uh anything, please share below in the comments what you're thinking about buying, or what stocks you're looking at. Uh, I'm personally looking at uh, a few techs, um, maybe some gold this week. You know, I really do think that this oil thing is really going to shake up the market even more. Uh, we have to wait till the end of March or mid-March for the feds to drop some more rates. But I really do think that the feds are going to swoop in and they're going to they're going to do something. Listen, it's not a secret. I think that this market is backed by the feds and I, it it'd be really hard for for me to see for them to just let this market just go completely done. Like the, it'd be very hard. I think there's just too many 401k's, too many banks. This whole a lot of this economy is kind of tied up into this market. So that's why I do believe it's going to recover no matter what. And if you have some money, I would say take 20% of it. That's what I'm looking to do. Take 20% of whatever's in your savings and put it into the stock market now while it's low. Or continue to watch it go lower. This week is supposed to be a really good week to buy for me personally uh, because the market is uh, going to be super fearful. And... You know, Warren Buffett said it best. He's one of the best of the best. When people are, are fair, are faring, that's when you get greedy. And when people are greedy, that's when you fear. And I take that as just pretty much, you know, when everybody's scared, it's your chance. It's your chance to, to take risks. And that's what it's about. Like, if if you're if you're not willing to take risks, and I'm not saying go uh, put 20% of your savings into oil. Like, be smart about it. Like, if, if we have an oil war, don't invest in the oil. Uh, just, you know, be safe. You know, this tech, there's a lot of future tech stuff out there. There's healthcare, the 
airline industry is super cheap. Like these ones I'm going to keep talking about because these ones are just obvious. Um, you know, I got to do your research and you know, there's this consumer staples. I'm always talking about the consumer staples and there's so many, uh, consumer staples. There's a handful of consumer staples that are planning to do some super big things. And I think that they don't even want to announce the big things that they're doing right now because of all the fuss that's going on. And, uh, so they might be holding off on that. I think that, like I said, don't sue me, but it's a good time to buy, y'all. Especially if you're new and, you, you know, you, you're just getting your feet wet. Get some money in the market. You know, your money's sitting in a bank account and it's uh, accruing less and less money as the government continues to cut rates and they will continue to cut more rates. That means you're earning, your money will be earning less and less and less sitting in a savings account. Um, and like I said before, if you don't physically need 20% of it or how much of a percent you're willing to risk, um, you should, you should, uh, diversify, diversify and, and just, you know, take risks, take risks, but take calculated risks, be strategic. Thank you guys for watching today. Uh, you know, I'm just going to be super simple and short, I'm not going to get into too much details. I think the market will speak for itself today. And uh, if you like this video, please put the thumbs up. Make sure you share in the comments what uh, stocks you're looking at. You know, how's your portfolio doing? Please share because there's a lot of beginners that, you know, they're interested to hear how, how people's portfolios are doing. Um, I don't physically share my portfolio anymore, but or visually share my portfolio. But I'm always open to talk about what I have, uh, you know, in my portfolio in the comments. So. Feel free to shoot me a comment and share your portfolio so we can all just kind of, you know, learn from each other. That's that's what this is about. Um, you guys have a great rest of your week. Make sure y'all keep an eye on this market. Peace.